this is the number one way how the best how the best biggest smartest richest traders in the game make the coins and it's called pullback trading but before we're gonna go into that make sure to join a discord and this is gonna give you guys place to buy place to like place to make coins on i give you guys when to buy fodder what type of fodder to buy for example i told people to buy 87s on the 14k right now the 87s are selling for 18k so make sure to join the discord to make coins but we're gonna go straight back to the trading method so the number one way the i think the biggest trading method how the top 100 traders the best traders in the game make the coins is pullback trading and a pullback trading is something like this let's go over to paint to make it like easy for you guys to understand right so let's say a card let's say this card over here or let, like to make it easy let's start with like a lower budget card right like name like a like a, a like let, let's say 300k player a 300 ah 300 right 300k boom so this guy has 300k let's say kavu for example 300k and he starts to rise boom to 380k because he got demand right now he's 380k boom so now we see a play that is in demand so what when it comes to trading we want to trade with players that are that are in demand so we know this guy got demand because he rose from 300k he rose 80k up right 80k rise so normally what tends to happen on a uh, on a on a guy that rises because there's buyers and sellers there's like all the guys that bought over here right now are selling so what happens naturally you always see a pullback this is a pullback and this is how we trade this is the method we're gonna use boom so there's one golden rule when it comes to a pullback and that is don't let it go below this price over here so don't let it go under 300k so right now this guy might be 330k 30k above the price where he's, when he started to rise right by the way if this is too complicated i'm gonna show you guys examples of rise of players that like how we can make coins on these type of flips on these type of methods right so right now he's three he, he he goes back to 330k right over oh my days i'm so bad at like riding on paint um let's say oh 330k boom right so he's 30k above the uh, above the price when he started to rise he he started with 300k start to rise he's above this price over here 30k above this price for me i would buy this pullback and, and and normally what happens you snipe under this price so let's say you snipe it for like 315 maybe even 300k if he, if it, if the price is 300k you can snipe under this price right like let's say you snipe it for like 3 um 320 315 however much supply there is just try to get like the mad the big undercuts so let's say you snipe it for like 3 318k 320k that's your, that's where you bought him and normally what tends to happen the player goes either goes back up or goes a little bit higher so let's say he goes to like 390k boom so right now you made if you bought it for three the tax is around 20k as you if you sell it for 390 you bought it for 320 so you make around 70k profit in this in this flip in this trading method you made 70k profit and one and one um in one trade so the profit after this is 70k after tax because it's 20k tax right 70k and this is how the biggest traders in the game make that coin so let's now go to fitbin and let's show an example of a pullback and we're gonna follow this rule right he starts to rise from 300k he goes to 380k he pulls back to 330k and then he goes to like he could go back to 380 maybe 370 but the only thing we want to do is make sure we make coins over here right it doesn't matter how much coins like it could be 20k it could be like 40k right so one thing like i said you have one thing you have to know don't let it drop under this price that's the only thing we have to we have to know so let's look into somebody like renard right renard started to rise big time on thursday the 25th so let's reverse engineer and see how we could have made money so 25th right now this is a pullback boom this is a classic pullback as you guys see you see this rise over here 
to 1.9. And guess what happened? He, she pulled back to 1.7. Guess what? It's higher than the price he started. So for me, this is a, this is a great time to buy. I see that the supply is drying up. I snipe under this price and boom, she pulls back to 2.1 mil. So if we bought over here, let's say we sniped her for like 1.7. She rises then to like one, like 2.1 mil. And we make around like 150k profit on one trade. Then she pulls back again. She's higher than this price over here. She pulls back again and she rises again, right? She rises again, she pulls back. She's still higher than this price over here. So she pulls back. Right now you can see this. I wouldn't trade her anymore because look what's happened. You see that when, when she started to rise, she's slowly going to this price right over here, right? It's 50k of the price, so I would be afraid to start sniping this. Because look, I would not trade this anymore, because the rise are not even big anymore. So it already shows, hopefully you guys can see this by the way. Let me zoom in a little bit. It are, it's already like slowly coming to this price. So I would be afraid to trade this in a pullback trade. Because look, look at the difference here. The difference here is um, almost a mil, of almost 100k, like more than 100k. The difference here and here is around also 100k. So it's already slowly. Let me put some lines for you guys to make it like understand, right? This is the low. This is when when she started to rise. She went up and she pulled back. But look how close it is to this line. You guys see this? Look. This is the 30k difference, but yeah, it, it's different with like more expensive cards, right? 30k is a lot if a card is 300k, but. 50k is not a lot if a card is 2 million, right? So hopefully you guys understand this. So it's already slowly coming here. So these are the pulls, pullbacks we want to buy. They start to rise here. It stayed over here. You buy this pullback and boom, it rises, right? Oh, over here. Once again. The rise start over here, boom. He rises, rises, rises. He pulls back. This was a really clean buy. Look. A really good buy. And she flew, right? Because, you know, the difference is so big. There's a lot of people that won't let it drop. And you see, the difference is so big. So, it shows demand. People won't let it drop. But if you, if you can see over here, people, like, there's not enough demand to keep her high from this, from this pullback price. From this low price over here. Because she started to rise over here. And she's already slowly going back to this price. So, I would not trade this card anymore. I would have traded her here. Because the difference is so big. I would have traded over here because the difference is so big, but the difference here is so small, so I would not touch this anymore. Because I think she's gonna draw. I don't think she's gonna do well. So let's look another. Like let's see if we can find another example, right? This Smith also flew big time, right? So let's see if we can reverse engineer this as well. So there was only a drop over here. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Till Thursday, the same as uh, as Renard. Same thing happened. So if we, if we draw a line to when she started to rise, because she started to rise over here, boom, she flew, pulled a little bit back. Look at the difference. It's massive difference. So she absolutely flew. Even because, look, the difference is not that much. Look, the difference is not that, like, the, I mean, the difference is a lot. So that shows a lot of demand. You see the rise is, is even bigger, right? In comparison to... We're not to kind of drop the lot. So there was not that much demand to keep a high. So the rise is like a little bit lower. So a pullback, like how low the pullback is. Let me, let me draw it out for you guys. So let's say, for example, this is, this, is a, this is where she starts to rise. Boom. So if the pullback is like this, that shows a lot of demand because people won't let it drop. So what tends to happen is she flies. But if the demand is a little bit lower and if she goes like this, the demand, like, there's not enough people to keep her high, so the rise is also a little bit less, right? Like, this one goes a little bit higher because there's more demand. People won't let it drop. So, in, in, in like, how big are the pullback, how less the demand? Because how less the people is to keep the price up, right? Hopefully, that's, that makes sense. So, we can already see there was a massive pull, like, there was a small pullback over here, so she absolutely flew. And she went from 1.7 mil to 2 point, almost 2.2 .2 mil, which is a massive rise. That's almost 500k up, right? So then she went lower again. She kind of went back to this, like, she, like there was another big difference over here from the low, because look, she started to rise over here, right? This is when she started to rise. And look, she pulled back over here. 
a lot of difference between that. So she flew again. But once again, also for Smith, she's coming closer to this prize over here. So there's not that, like, it's not as bad. No, it's actually not as, even as bad as. It's not even as bad as. Oh, yes, he's going low. She's getting low. Yes, he is getting low. I mean, it's not as bad as this one. Because this one is off like a couple of K. Almost like. Like 50k, and this one is off like 25, like 60k. So it's not as it's, it's bad, but it's not as bad. I would rather trade the Soviet Smith than the Renard, right? Because look, the pullback is not that big. So that's basically what you guys want to look for. So we can also do this with a little bit cheaper card. So let's go to let's 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 navigate towards o, uh, Oberdorf, right? So let's draw a line once again. Boom. So this is when she started to rise. Boom. She went to 690k. Pulled back a little bit. As you guys can see, the difference is massive. So what happened? A massive rise. Right? Right over here. Then she pulled back here. As you can see, it's lower than this. So she started to rise as well. But look. It's close to this price. So the rise wasn't as big. I would, I would trade this uh, Obadov, by the way. I would trade this Obadov. I would, Because she's just rising. So I will, instead of like Renard, as you guys can see, of I mean uh, Renard, she's coming close to this to this rise, right? And Obed of um, where is Obedov? Obedov is just rising, so I would definitely buy this in a pullback. It depends how high she goes as well, but I would favor this Obedov for the pullback trade if she ever pulls back, right? So let's go with a cheaper, like an extremely cheap card, like an 80k card, because nobody, like, not everybody got millions to trade these cards, right? So can we also trade this? So let's see. Um, let's see. So she he kept this price, was a rise. So look, right? And this is why you don't want to. This is why you don't want to want to trade a card. That goes below when he rises, right? If you guys look into this, look what happened. So he started to rise, boom. He pulled back over here. He went close to this price over here. So what happened? You can see he dropped the price, right? You see, you guys see this? This is why you don't want to go near like a, a, a pullback over here. That's near the price. He started to rise. Does that make sense, chat? Hopefully that made sense. Also, you see it over here, right? A big rise, but look, it went close to this price. So he went up a little bit, but then just died. So it shows that he doesn't really got enough demand. So what you want to do is, he pulled back over here again, right? Right over here, 70k. He went up, pulled back. Look, it's too close to the price. I wouldn't trade this. And as you can see, he didn't really rise as well, right? So I would not trade this. But then again, look at this. The rise over here, right? It shows demand. A pullback, so you're buying this pullback over here for 70, 77k. Look at the difference here. Look at the difference. 73, 77. Big difference. So guess what happened? He started to rise higher. You see this? It shows, right? Look at the difference here. And there was a drop. And look at the difference here with the pullback. You snipe this for like 75k. And boom, you sell it for like 90k. You make like 15k profit. And that's how you trade pullbacks it's really simple just make sure it doesn't go below this price over here so don't buy a pullback this is a pullback you don't want to buy for example alexis alexis was 70k boom he started to rise pulled back to the 70k for me that this 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 gives me alarm bumps because there's not enough people to like like let him like 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 make him like like, there's not enough people to keep this price high. So he pulled back to this price over here. He went up a little bit, but overall he just dropped, right, in price. Because it's so close to this price. It was like 2K off. 2K. I only would buy this if it was, if it was a big dif difference with the low price when he started to rise. And his pullback. If it was, if it was here, I would have bought this. Because the difference is so big. So that's, a, that's how you trade pullbacks. This is how the big, you can do this with icons, team of the years, cheap players, expensive players. This should work with every single card in the game. Let me know. Hey, by the way, by the way, like this video. I got a really important video for you guys coming up.
I'm going to show you guys players to trade with over the next couple of days. Mainly cheaper budget players. So make sure to like this video. I'm out.